guys welcome back to my channel so today I decided to make a video just kind of explaining um, some crystals that are good for beginners so I have all of my babies here um, well most of them not all of them because they're spread out throughout the rest of the house I'm gonna talk about five of them and a bonus one that I think you guys should get but don't necessarily need um, so yeah I'm still in this learning process in this learning journey so um, I do have some notes here to help me guide you <laughs> and um, myself through this journey. And um, I will list all of the references down below that I did um, research. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so, so much for clicking on this video. Please subscribe to my channel if anything resonates with you. I do have more videos like this and yoga videos coming out. So stay tuned, um, hit subscribe, and don't forget to put the, no the notification bell on so you know whenever I post a new video. So let's get right into it. I want to start with my favorite, favorite crystal that kind of helped me get more into all the rest of the crystals is my baby right here, Clear Quartz. And this is a huge one. I want like a huge one in my house, um, but I love this one. Um, the little story about this one is, um, Something happened, I think, one day while I was at work and I was just carrying it around with me and I just felt so connected to it. So I just had to get it and I love it so, so much. I use it all the time when I meditate and it's just so beautiful. Like, look how pretty she is. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to talk about clear quartz and um, actually, no, we're going to talk about the history of crystals. Let's start with that and then we'll come back to my clear quartz friend right here. The history about crystals is most gemstones formed in the Earth's crust approximately 3 to 25 miles beneath the Earth's surface. And I think that's so freaking interesting that, that like this came from the Earth. Like, crazy. I know there's some believers or some non-believers about the, the magic and the properties of crystals, but it came from the Earth, guys. Like, it came from the earth. That's, that's all I gotta say. The first historic references uh, to use crystals actually came from ancient Sumerians who included crystals in their magic and ancient Egyptians use it uh, in jewelry and for their tombstones. So yeah, that's the history of crystals. Um, if you want to know more, definitely do your research on it. But those are like the main points that I wanted to focus on in this video. What the heck was that? <laughs> My cats are going crazy. I don't know what the hell that was. You good? Um, so let's go back to my clear quartz friend here. So like I said, I have notes. Um, I know some things about it, but I want to give you guys like all the information on it. And if I'm missing anything, please feel free to comment in the comments section down below because um, you'll help me and you'll help anybody else watching this video. So, uh, clear quartz, it enhances your psychic ability, which 100% is so freaking true. I'm having, like, memories come up and just randomly throughout the day, and it's just like, whoa. <laughs> um, so, this has helped, especially since, like I said, I'm meditating with it. So, it helps uh, with your psychic abilities. It amplifies other crystals. So, usually I meditate with this one, and then I'll choose, like, another crystal in my collection and just meditate with both of them. So it just enhances other crystals that are around it that uh, you meditate with. And it also helps focus the mind and aids meditation, like I said. It aids concentration and enhances memory, which like I said, I have memory, like, cause I don't know if you guys watched my journey video, but ever since I made that video, I have been like kind of working with all my memories because I have some memories that I blocked out and like, like I said, they'll come up to me randomly and then I'll just like make sure to journal them. But I feel like this crystal has helped so, so much and selenite, which I'll get into um, because for me, I'm more attracted to the clear crystals and that has been really helping me with my journey. Protects against negativity, relieves pain, used to cleanse and it helps find your inner peace. So all of this is in this magical magical crystal that i love so so much like i need to get another one so when i meditate i can hold both of them but it's just it's so pretty and i just love like i love all the little details inside the crystal like it's freaking crazy man and even like this part so this is a raw crystal i like most of my crystals raw um let me show you so like this is turquoise but this is like a tumble stone 
So I tell people to, you can either start with raw or tumblestone, but if you're like brand, brand new to this world, I would definitely start with tumblestone first um, and then go into the raw because the raw crystals are like really amplified in my opinion. Um, tumblestones are really good to travel with. So if I am traveling and I wanted to bring like my turquoise with me, I could just put it in my pocket or some people put it in their bra or you can make like a necklace out of it. Uh, this is actually a raw citrine and I'll talk about citrine later. Um, but yeah, you can make a necklace out of this if you wanted to and then just wear it on you. But like I said, I'm all about the raw crystals ever since like I started this journey. I started with a bunch of tumble stones, which are behind me um, in my little um, moon holder. But yeah, I love the raw crystals. So that's mostly what I'm going to show you is my raw crystals. And then um, there's always a tumble stone option if you wanted the tumble stone to start off first. <laughs> So let's talk about amethyst, which is another one of my faves. Um, I really want a big amethyst again in my house. Um, and this is another raw one. I actually got this for free. It's like, um, it was sent to me in one of those like boxes, like beauty boxes. And this is from Influencer. It's actually a free beauty box. You just have to like write reviews and stuff. So if you're interested, definitely check that out. Um, but they sent this with me and it was so crazy because I wasn't even really into this world yet. Um, but they sent this to me and I freaking love it. So amethyst is really good for the third eye chakra and for the chakras, um, it's actually pronounced chakras instead of chakra. Um, I'm learning this in my yoga school, which I have a video coming out soon. So definitely wait for that. Um, but yeah, so the chakras, if you look at them, um, and look at the color of the actual crystal. So this is good for your third eye, which is in the middle of your brow and it's color purple or indigo. So this is really good for that. And like I said, just look at the colors of the crystals and that's how you can tell what chakra is for. Um, okay, anyway. <laughs> um, and then this is also known as the all healer. It helps stimulate, stimulate creativity. It helps battle addiction, which is crazy. Um, it enhances psychic abilities again. It helps with inner peace and healing, relieves stress, and it has positive transformation. So. If you're going through anything, like anything in your life you're going through, I think this is a great crystal to start off with um, because like I said, it's like a healer and it's uh, really good for transformation. And I actually sleep with a little one that's raw under my pillow um, as well as uh, selenite. And I'll get into that. Um, I think that's the last one I'll talk about. But yeah, I sleep with this under my pillow because it helps with dreams. So... I think this this would be a good one if you're going through transformation in your life or I don't know something happened definitely reach for this guy for sure so now let's talk about rose quartz which is one of my favorites I'm not wearing my necklaces today because um, the way that it sits sometimes it you can't really see it but I have two rose quartz necklaces that I wear all the time and rose quartz is actually one of my first crystals. Um, it definitely helps with self-love. Like this is, I'm very connected with rose quartz for sure. So rose quartz is really good for the heart chakra. Like I said, self-love. It promotes self-healing and self-love known as the stone of unconditional and universal love. It creates a calm atmosphere, dispelling negativity. Um, it helps with relationships and promotes forgiveness and encourages self-forgiveness, self-trust, and self-worth. So a lot of people think this is for like getting like, I don't know. A lot of people think it's like for like love, like, oh, I need, I'm gonna get this crystal because I'm gonna get a boyfriend or I'm gonna get a girlfriend. Like it, it doesn't work like that. Um, this is more for a self-love and like universal love instead of like just focusing love to that one specific person. Um, that's in my opinion, like I said, I'm still new to this world, but I, don't get this crystal if you want to if you want to get a partner you know um this is more for like you like self-love sending love out into the world so i really love this crystal for that um a lot of people put this in their bathtub and have a bath with it um i think that's so freaking interesting like i wish i could do that but i'm too big for my bath because i'm six foot so yeah <laughs> but uh yeah i i love rose quartz it's such a good crystal to have especially if you are and having a heartache or a breakup or you're just not feeling yourself you're you're very low self-esteem like definitely get you some rose quartz meditate with it sleep with it under your pillow sleep with it next to you while you're um while you're sleeping <laughs> um put it on your nightstand just so this can help and 
Um, when I first got this crystal, someone said it's really good for motherly love. And if you watch my video, you know that my mom passed away. So this, like I said, I'm really connected to this stone because it has helped me in so many ways. <music> All right, so let's get on to selenite. Okay, so it's not the last one. <laughs> so selenite is so, so good to have. I actually use it as a wand. So if I'm feeling really down or really negative, I'll just take it and I'll like use it like as a wand and then I'll hold it sometimes. I'll hold it on my heart or wherever I'm feeling pain or anything, I'll hold it there or I'll lay down, I'll meditate with it. Um, just be careful because selenite is very, very fragile. It's really good. I don't even need my nose for this one. <laughs> um, it's really good for charging other crystals. Um, I'm going to be talking about charging crystals, um, later on in the video, but this, if you don't want to charge it with the sun or the moon, you can just have this. Um, like I said, it's, it's really good for healing. It's a grounding crystal. So let's look at my notes because I, I'm forgetting some things. Um, so it's good for the crown chakra. It quiets the mind, cleansing and grounding. It can charge crystals, it's self-charging. Um, it protects from psychic attack. It helps with mental clarity, stabilizing and balancing your emotions and opening the connection to the spirit realm, which is like crazy. Um, it's just like, selenite is just a really good crystal to have. I also have one under my pillow, like I said, because it helps like cleanse you while you're sleeping. So I actually have like a party under my pillow and I'll, I'll show you guys at the end, but there's like a lot of stuff under there. It's like a big lump. Um, but yeah, definitely selenite is really good. And then someone also told me, um, I work at a crystal shop. Someone told me to put it in each corner of my house. Um, I guess to cleanse your house. So, um, I do have a couple of them. I don't have them in every corner, but I definitely want to get them. I do have it right before, like right above my door before you walk in. So yeah, that is selenite and it comes in various sizes. Like I have one that's this small. They have one in a ball. They have one this size and they have one like this size. They have... A bunch of sizes of the selenite so let's talk about citrine which i'm like i really thank my colleague for this because i love citrine now like i'm so attracted to it it's just, like i have it on my neck like i'm so obsessed with citrine so citrine this little guy is so beautiful it just looks like a ball of sunshine it looks like happiness like it's really good for prosperity like it's such a good crystal um, so let me actually talk about it because I don't know too, too much about it. I just know that I'm obsessed with it. Um, so it's good for your solar plexus and your sacral chakra, which I need to work on all the time. So that's why I have it on me. It restores a sense of individuality, improves decision making and learning and teaching. It helps attract abundance, abundant, abundant, <laughs> helps attract abundance and wealth boosts mental stimulation and it gets rid of emotional toxins which wow it's just crazy to me that all these crystals like do all of that you know um so met someone at work and she said to put citrine in your wallet so i have citrine in my wallet and then she said put it on the far left side of your house so i actually have a plant there and i have a crystal sand um and i put the crystal sand in my plant and it's actually growing like crazy and it's on the far left side of my house and I have a little citrine here. I have it on my neck. I have it on my wallet, like I mentioned. Um, again, I want a big citrine in my house. So citrine is just really good for all those things. So if you are going to school or if you're learning something new, definitely put a citrine near your computer if you are like working um, at a desk. And like I said, it's good for ab abundance and wealth and like we all need that, don't we? So. Yeah, get you a little citrine around your neck if you want, or you can put it in your bra, you can put it, they have earrings, they have a whole bunch of stuff. Bracelets, like I have some bracelets on. And then the bonus chakra that I wanna talk about is black tourmaline, because I feel like everybody needs this, but it's not like a huge necessity. Um, like if you, I recommend the first five that I talked about. If you want to get this one, which I suggest, you can get it. But yeah, let's just talk about it so I can stop talking. <laughs> so um, black tourmaline, which is this one. This one is actually mixed with quartz. Like the white part right here is quartz. So I thought that was really cool. Again, I have this um, right next to the selenite. I have it right above my door because it helps with um, remove negativity. It helps emotionally stable you, relieves negativity and victim mentality relieves embarrassment and anxiety and it's strongly protective so if you need some protection in your life please get black tourmaline um 
if you want like if you don't want this big one that I have you can get like a little one or a pendant like I have or um, like the little tumble stone or a bracelet um, I actually want to get a bracelet because I can't bring this everywhere with me and it has like a little crack in the middle of it and I don't want it to break so um, yeah, and I do have a little one under my pillow too. I'm actually gonna show you guys now what's under my pillow. So hold up, hold up. In this little bag is a whole bunch of magic. <laughs> okay, so I have them separated because uh, some things are really fragile. But the first thing I have in here is lavender, which is a great herb because it's really good for calming. So it'll help you fall asleep if you have insomnia. So I have that there. Um, I don't have insomnia, but I just like to put it there because it smells really good. Um, and then I have some selenite. So this is a small one that I was talking about, the small selenite. And then I have this little small piece of tourmaline. So I just put this under there today because someone said, can you see it? Yeah. Um, because uh, someone said it's really good for like removing bad dreams or nightmares or something. So I was like, hey, I already have a whole bunch of crystals under there. Anyway, let's just add one more. <laughs> So I have these two separate since they're a little more raw. And then I have a little amethyst, like I talked about before. And then, I don't know if you guys remember in my, oh my God, this was like my Florida vacation video when I went to Disney. Like if you wanna look like way back, I was recently just watching that with my friend and it was just, we were watching the crystal shop and it was just like so magical. I wish I can go back there because now I know so much more about it, I would get more things. Um, but this was the first one of the first crystals that I got besides the amethyst and the rose quartz. Um, I didn't even know what it was. I was just like, oh, it looks really cool. It's like marble, but it's actually howlite. And I have howlite on as a bracelet because it's a really good calming stone. So I just threw that under there um, as well. And I love that it's in a little ball. So cute. So that's the little party that I have under my pillow. So yeah, this um, this was sent to me in like a chakra box that I got um, when we were in quarantine when we couldn't really go to stores. So um, yeah, oh my God, it smells so freaking good. So just go get you some lavender, put it in a little bag um, and then just stick it under your pillow so you can help, it can help you sleep. Wow, that one is, that's strong. <laughs> hey, <coughs> woo! Oh my God, that was from the lavender. It was really strong, like I said. So now we're gonna talk about cleansing the crystals. So say you go to the store and you're so excited, you got all these crystals, um, and then you get home, you wanna make sure that you cleanse them because it could be filled with so so many other people's energy. People could have touched it too. Like you never know who touched it. You just wanna make sure to clear it from any of that energy. Why cleanse? <laughs> so they can absorb other energies. It's a way to restore them to their natural state. So there's different ways to clean them and I'm gonna talk about it. And I have some here. So um, I think it's in the frame, yeah, you could see it. So the one way to cleanse them is with water. So it can be from a lake, from a faucet, from... I just blanked so bad. Waterfall. <laughs> Kid. <laughs> from a waterfall. Um, but if you don't have any of those near you, then you could just use running water, like I said. Just be sure that they are water safe because there's some crystals that can't go in water like uh, selenite. If you put selenite in water, she'll just crumble. So just before you use water, make sure that it can be safe for water. So what water does is it neutralizes any negative energy stored inside the stone and it restores it back to the earth. Since it's water, you know, water is with the earth. Makes sense. Um, natural water is best, like I said, but you can use your faucet and you wanna do this one minute per stone. Salt water is also really good because it banishes negative energy and unwanted energy. Um, so if you go to the ocean, uh, just grab some ocean water and you can just do that or you can just take your crystals to the ocean, to the beach um, and use it that way. Uh, Himalayan salt with water in a bowl. That's a really good way as well because you know, it's salt water. And it says make sure it's completely submerged and allow it to soak for a few hours to a few days at a time. Rinse and pat dry up to 48 hours. Um, but if you ain't got time for that, then just do the regular water. <laughs> um, so natural light. So natural light, it cleanses and it charges it. Um, so set your stones out uh, before nightfall and remove it before 11 a.m., which I didn't know when I looked that up because I usually, um, so say we have a full moon November 30th. So make sure that you put 
your crystals on the ledge, on the window ledge or like in your car or something so they can absorb all that moonlight and make sure you bring them inside before 11 a.m. Um, I don't know why it didn't really, oh, <laughs> it does say. This will allow it to bathe in the sun and in the moonlight but too much sun may weather the stone's surface. So for example, like um, amethyst, if you put in direct sunlight, it will fade. So like I said, before you do any of these cleansing things, look it up to be like, hey, is rose quartz good to put in the sun? I don't think so. Like, I don't think direct sunlight is good for it. So I don't really charge my stones in the sun. I do mostly moonlight because it's a little safer um, and if I do do it in the sun, like I'll get it first thing in the morning. Um, so yeah, that is moonlight and sunlight because I did have a question about that on Instagram and it's best place. This is really interesting. And I'm actually going to do this on, on the 30th. Like I said, November 30th, since that's when our full moon is, um, the best place to put it is directly on the ground for further cleansing. And this can be up to 10 to 12 hours. So I'm definitely going to do that. Just make sure if you do put it out on the ground that there's no like animals that it's like safe, you know, it's safe to be outside on the ground. Um, you can even make a little like section for it, which I might do. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for that because it's, this is something I just learned when I was doing, when I was researching all of this. Another way to cleanse is through smoke, which is one of my favorites. Um, so you can do sage or palo santo. So sage is uh, a sacred plant with a lot of healing properties this helps clear and restore it to its natural energy make sure to have a door or a window open and it'll help release all the negative energy um i always tell people if they want to instead of saging just the crystals if you want to sage your whole entire house um just make sure you have a door or a window open so all of that negative energy can just go right out of the door right out of the window and you only have to do this for 30 or 60 seconds per stone and it could be any stone. Any stone can be cleansed with sage or palo santo. So I think this is the best way if you don't want to use water, if like you don't feel like looking anything up, this is the perfect way to do it. So this is one of my favorite ways. And how often you want to clean your stones is if you have new stones, like I said, you go out to the store and get some new stones, bring them home, make sure you cleanse them. Or if you meditate with them free or use them frequently, like I use this clear quartz every single day and I have it by my bed. I have some other crystals by my bed too. That's not under my pillow cause it won't fit. <laughs> um, but I just make sure that I clean this as much as I can because sometimes when I hold it, I'll be angry or I'll be upset or I'll have different emotions and you don't want it stored in the crystal. So you want to make sure that you cleanse it since, especially since I work with it so frequently. Um, and yeah, I think that is it. Psych, I have one more page. <laughs> So charging your crystals. I already talked about it a little bit, but this is something that I have to start doing because I don't, like you wanna program your crystals and you wanna set intentions with them. I don't do that, which I know I need to. Um, so say like citrine, for example. Hold on, I'm really thirsty. A lot of talking. <laughs> Actually, this is the perfect time to talk about my crystals. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I have crystals in my water. So there's shungite in there, which is really good for um, radiation. It has minerals in it. It's really good for cleaning um, minerals and stuff. I have rose quartz and clear quartz in here as well. So I really, I really like this idea. Um, shout out to my coworker again because he hooked me up with this, especially the shungite. And then um, you know how they sell those like water bottles with a crystal in there that are like thirty bucks. Go out and get you a crystal. These crystals are like three dollars. Not my job. Um, and just put it in there. Just make sure you don't swallow it and that's it. You don't have to go out and buy those water bottles because I think they're overpriced, 100%. You can just drop it in there and that was it. Um, okay, so back to programming. So say you have this citrine, you're gonna program it and you say, um, I'm trying to think, because I've never done this before and I don't wanna do it wrong and I haven't really looked it up because it just popped in my head now. So if I'm wrong, just correct me in the comments. But so, since citrine is a money stone, you could say, I am a money magnet, hold it, and have an intention of, I am a money magnet, guide me to money, or something like that, and then you programmed it, and that's it. So I really need to do that with all of my crystals. I just haven't done it yet because I was listening to Energy Muse, which is like amazing, 
definitely follow her because she has so many tips and tricks on crystals. Um, I was listening to a podcast of hers and she was saying to program them. And I was just like, oh my God, like I, that's so smart. I need to do that. So, um, yeah, that's program your crystals. Definitely research on it more because like I said, it just popped into my head now, but I definitely wanted to let you guys know about that because it's something I need to start doing. So let's talk about charging the crystals. Uh, like I said, you can do a full or a new moon. So new moon is really about, um, new beginnings so new moon new beginnings it's a fresh start since the moon isn't there you can't really see it and the full moon is the moment of completion and release so you want to make sure that you have your crystals out for both of those times whatever you set your intention that you want to do with them for that time so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful so these are some of the crystals that I suggest for beginners um, yeah, and if you guys want to see any more crystal videos, please let me know. Like I said, I'm brand new to this journey. I really am so thankful for the time that we had to be in lockdown. I'm not going to say because of you know who, but because of lockdown, because it really helped me find this path, find this journey, find this world. And it, I'm just so, so thankful for it. So if you guys want to see any more crystal videos or anything like that, just let me know. I also like, I know you probably see my green witch um, book back there. So I'm really researching into that because I'm just so like into nature and I love plants and stuff. So I just, I'm really want to get more into that. So yeah, let me know what other videos you guys want to see because I want to create some cool videos for you guys and i appreciate you i'm so sorry that i haven't been consistent but i did make um let me show you actually i know this video is all over the place but i haven't been here for a while so that's kind of why and i want to show you guys okay so i just got this big big planner so this is an 18 month planner and um for december i already planned for december i already planned out the month i didn't plan out the videos yet because i kind of want to get your suggestions of what you want to see definitely we'll have some yoga videos in there um i know i had a suggestion to see um yoga like like day in the life of a yoga student or something so i asked my teacher and she was down for that so i'm definitely gonna do that um but yeah i i'm gonna get back into it I, i'm I don't want to have excuses. This is not an excuse at all. I'm just trying to balance school, work, and life because it literally is all over the place. I don't have any balance at all. So I only get Monday and Tuesday off. Other than that, I'm either working full time or going to school uh, every other weekend. So it's just, it's a lot, but I need to make this a priority too because um, I want to show up for you guys since you show up for me, you know, I don't, I don't want to leave you guys hanging. I don't like that. So. I'm going to hold myself accountable next month to give you a video. I'm going to start with a video once a week. And then if I'm, if I'm doing what I said, which I know I will, because I'm putting it out there now, I will do two videos a week like I used to do, but right now I can only do one. Um, so I'm going to hold myself accountable for that. So on that note, please subscribe to my channel and put your notification bell on so you know whenever I post. Like this video if you guys like videos like this. If you want to see any more crystal videos, anything that you want to add to this video that I didn't say, please leave it in the comments down below. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Thank you. I'm so thankful for you guys. I'm, I'm just, I don't know. I'm, I'm beyond thrilled that you clicked on this video and are interested in what I have to say. <laughs> so thank you guys again. I love you so, so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.